short and sweet. That's better. I like it short and sweet. She liked it? I like it better short and sweet. Wait, what does that mean? It doesn't necessarily mean I like it. I like it better than the other ones that I don't like. Fine. Welcome to another podcast. Of? The Sodi Show! That one was a little high pitched. Yeah, that was a little. I can hear it echoing high-pitched. off the walls. Sorry, viewers. Sorry, guys. We are here at it again. We're podcasting because we're podcasters now. We are. I we're don't like feel pro like podcasters. One? Do you feel like one? I mean, I feel like I'm basically a Joe Rogan now. <laughs> I, do. I do not feel like I'm a podcaster. Maybe we need to get more views on our videos than I will. What are you talking about? Millions of viewers are watching. We don't every day. get a lot of views in our videos, guys. Thanks Watch a lot. our podcast and share it. What is that? What is what? <laughs> Steve's just putting on a blindfold because um, Steve does not know anything about women. I'm sorry, what? He grew up in a house with no sisters at all. True. And you have, have a mother. A lot of daughters. I have a lot of daughters. <laughs> and only one son. So I really feel like you do not know much about women at all. But how, does, how do you mean? Like, what do I not know about women? You're talking because I don't teach them how to potty train them or whatever, <laughs> and I don't tell them anything. They, when they have questions about clothing. Exactly. You or... know, he knows nothing. And he needs to know more because he has a lot of daughters. So I feel like I need to get him up to speed because he grew up without that many women in his life and now he has a lot should i start googling stuff about women no you shouldn't because google stuff i have my own uh remedy here that's like a briefcase i have a briefcase full of feminine supplies (laughs) what's a feminine supply you'll find out like (laughs) you'll find out i have an entire briefcase full of it and i am going to pick out one item at a time. Wait, you You're have... going to be blindfolded and you have to tell me what that item is. So these are products that men would not use in any way? I don't know. What They're... constitutes a Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Product? Like, Anything... Are we talking about like a brush? These are things... It could be. These are so things... So that, that's considered a feminine product? Yeah. A brush? Is that sexist? It's not. I use brush to comb all the hair in my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not mine. <laughs> Not your I hair. went around the house and I found as much things. Oh, there's something I missed. That's okay. I found as much things as I could. Um, and we're going to just do a little quick challenge. Um, we're going to see if you can, while blindfolded, tell me what the product is. If these are a bunch of men products, I'm going to laugh hysterically. <laughs> you know what? What's a man product? I don't know. What's a man product as Golf opposed to a something? woman product? <laughs> this is products that Barely we use on a regular basis. So, um, blindfold yourself. I'm not against giving hints if you can't get it, but we're just going to see. I mean, it's just a challenge. Oh, wait, to are see. these things like new? No, no answer. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. I went around my house so, today. Oh. I will start off. I'm, let me just dig into my briefcase. Wait, our here. house or your room? Because we have a lot of girls, and I'm now that I'm really nervous about the house. Oh, gosh. All right, hand out. And. This is a feminine product. I know what this is. Hey, what is it? It's an alligator clip. Is that what they call them? Alligator clips? What do you mean? I mean, that's You're the woman. <laughs> I would call it alligator clip. A hair clip. So it does. You are right. I'm get, I'm doing easy ones too, okay? Point. Done. And you are wearing it not the when way I get, When I make my man twist bun, I your hair this. up. Yeah. If you had twist a... Twist my hair up? You twist your hair up and then you <laughs> clip it. So yes, we have a lot of doesn't, these like, in our the house. Aquaman doesn't have a man bun? Yeah, this is not a feminine product. It though. is. It is. Like a, a feminine product. I guess I was thinking feminine hygiene. So does that mean only girls can use that? For the majority, yes. Most um, girls can use it. All right. What Ready? are we doing? So I'm already the smartest man in the world. Okay. And there you go. Oh, gosh. Why is it so small? <laughs> okay. This is for you put your... No ma- peeking. You put your fingers in like this to do your nails. <laughs> it's mostly for your toes you're... because you can spread your fingers fine but your okay. toes you can't but so i'm you right stick your... it's for your toes okay but it's for painting you nails stick yes. your toes that far <laughs> like that, that is stretched it out. separates your toes so that you can paint them without your toenails when you're painting them hitting the other one so, so i'm right i suppose it is for your toes 
Is that two for two for me? So I know nothing about women. Okay, next. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Jared's like, what are these things? What am I touching? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I do know what this is. Okay. Unfortunately. You would, like, put it in your hair to do curly things at night, right? And leave it overnight? He is correct. Woo! You do. I, I thought it was a Barbie toy. I, I was, was nervous. A cool when I first <laughs> Jared needs to be doing this. When show. I first touched it, I was a little nervous. I have a lot of girls in my he family. He does. He does. Um, it is for sure something to curl your hair. I legit thought hair. that was a Barbie pool noodle. No, you grab your hair and you wind it around, you twist it, all that jazz when it's a little bit wet, and take it out in the morning and your hair will be curly. I'm basically a woman at this point. I'd agree. Three for three? Mm. Is that four for four? I'm All right, ready. are we ready? Man up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I. I think I know what this might be. Am I allowed to, like. You can only you tell can open by it. the smell. You can open it. <laughs> I can tell by the smell. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. I know what this is because I've used these before. <laughs> I guess that's for a different story time. <laughs> but this happen. would be a pad. It is a pad. I won't describe what it's for unless you want me to. That is a pad. Easy. With a sticky back. Sure. So, so you stick I, it to I, your undies? I made my mistake with those. I thought the sticky side goes up. Oh, my gosh. The sticky side does not go up. And that's how you shave yourself. <laughs> that would give All me right. MRSA. Are you ready for the next product? I don't know after that one. I'm just glad it was in a package, it felt like, but maybe it wasn't. Oh, you closed. I thought you put it in my hand already. I couldn't tell. Oh, gosh. Okay. I have no idea so far on this one. Is this a thing? Is it a thing? It's a thing. <laughs> Is it, okay, oh, so there's a thing. I can open it. Should I open it or not open this? Yeah, go for it. I, I, would, I think it goes on your chin. Yeah. Maybe you should put it there. Maybe the side of your Did face. I break it? <laughs> put it on my chin. Okay. <laughs> um, did I break it? Uh, no. Um, I have... It feels like two pieces of paper that were stuck together. I mean, I don't know what to say here. <laughs> it is something that is sticky. Is it for waxing yourself? It's something that is sticky. No, remember, if I get <laughs> waxed... Your place on your face. Do you remember the last time I was waxed? I got MRSA on my face. Is that what that is? That is what so it I'm is! So I'm right. I'm 100% right on everything so far. <laughs> it is a wax strip. A near wax strip. I think I might be more of a but woman But you don't than you. use it on your face. I have, and I have a <laughs> permanent scar now because of it. Jared. That was so Jared's fault, by the way. <laughs> you said you wanted to do it. Not my fault. It's not anything for views. Okay, are you ready? Oh, we're not done. I, I figured we are that not done. I've hit every single one of them so far. You might as well just give up because I don't know anything about women. All right, there's no way you're getting this. There you go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm looking at it, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> he saw the packaging, and he doesn't know I'm what it is. I'm freaked out by what I'm touching right now. But, unfortunately, <laughs> I know that you would put this on your forehead to get rid of wrinkles. Yeah, but it's on backwards, <laughs> upside down. It is a brow lift. Reusable wrinkle smoothing patches. <laughs> I've kissed a woman with that on her face before. That's all I'm saying. Who is that? <laughs> all right, next product. Hey, are we going to not acknowledge that I've gotten everyone I mean, right? Including that thing that Jared doesn't know what it is still after I explained it? Yeah, I still don't. You know. do look like, you should get that in gold so you look like Wonder Woman when you're wearing it, by the way. Mm hmm Oh boy. This is interesting. It's in a package. It feels gooey, so I'm, I don't think I should open this package. Why is it gooey feeling? I don't know. 
Um, I'm going to say, I don't really know what this is, so I'm going to guess. Is this the actual wax for the waxing stuff? Nope. Okay, I mean, I, I don't know. It's a gooey substance. I'm afraid to open it. It's a face mask. Oh, so that's not a substance? That's like it's a, a thing? It's a mask pack. I mean, if it, it's just like face. handing me a bag of cereal and be like, what brand of cereal is this? <laughs> I'm blindfolded. Ready? Oh, gosh. Really? Yeah, really. Why does it have a pump on the end of it? <laughs> Can I open it? Go for it. I'm not, like, going to break it? <laughs> I'm going to have to bite this to open no, it. I feel so that. wrong about don't this. Do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So what I'm looking for <laughs> is a string. There it is. All right, I know what it is. That's a tampon. That is a tampon. And it was awfully close to my mouth. <laughs> it's a nosebleed kit. <laughs> it is. You, you use, use that it. for when you get cuts. Yes. So right. why are we even playing this game? Are we still going? We are. I have not missed one. There oh, you wait. Go. I guess what was the one? It was a wrapper. Face mask. Oh, gosh. What the heck? What did you put in my hand? <laughs> what is this? Is this like a. Okay. Do I get any hints? Yeah, you use it um, on your hands. Oh. I was going to think toothpick, maybe, but. <laughs> So this is like getting rid of your little... What are those called? Calluses? Calicos? Calluses? What is it called? I'm close. No, you're not close at all. What calluses? Is it, what is it called? <laughs> Follicles? No. Follicles? Fallacies? No. Cuticles! Cute, and so, <laughs> you knew I saw I was close! You're not even close at all. I wouldn't have never guessed this, so I'm wrong, because there's no way. I would have thought she'd pick was my best guess, which would have been a weird thing for a feminine Okay, are you ready? No. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what in the heck? What did you... What did you... <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, it twists? Yeah. Should I open it? Um, what if I touch it? Sure. Okay, so... <laughs> I have two guesses, kind of, but because of the size of it, I'm going to say fingernail polish. Nope, it is not. It does, it is used for your fingernails, but it's not polish. That is way too small. Too small? For fingernail polish. I mean, I don't know if you took it from the kids' room, they have weird stuff. So it's for your fingers? Yeah, maybe smell it. Uh, is it gooey? Is there like a liquid? I don't want to ruin our carpet. Just... Are you going to hit my, this into my face or something? Smell, I don't smell anything. Smell this end. <laughs> I don't know. What am I smelling? I don't know. Okay. I can't put it back together. It is super glue. What? <laughs> that is not a feminine hygiene product. Or feminine product. Nail glue. Oh my gosh. It's nail super glue. Fine, I'm wrong, I guess. Okay, are you ready? I guess. Why do, every time I sit here, I just am afraid I'm going to get kicked in the chicken nuggies by you. Uh, according to Blake, the chicken nuggies. Um, I, this is obviously for doing your eyelashes. It's an eyelash. What does it do? Curl your thingy, Majiggy. Yes, it does curl them. I call it the eye guillotine. Eye guillotine. You want to work on my chin hairs? Try it. Can I do that? Let me do it. I don't, know if I, well, I don't know if I trust you to do it. <laughs> what are you doing? Do she went straight for the jugular immediately. No thanks. Right. I nailed that one. Thank you very much. How many have I gotten wrong now, I guess, is the question. Two. Oh. Is this the file thingy for your nails? Yes, it is. It's a little flimsy for that, though, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, kind of. I'm kind of questioning what that is. Are we still doing this? Last how many, one. How many feminine products do you have? Why are you laughing? If you kick me in the chicken nuggies, I'd be so in mad. I heard Jerry get up. Oh my gosh. 
What? I know what it is. This isn't new either. What? You have to smell it. It's clean. It smells delightful. What is the name of it? <laughs> you want me to give the name of it? Like, there's no chance I can name it. It's the. I don't know the name of it either. It's the pea cup. Nope. I can tell you what you do with it. <laughs> it's a diva cup. I was pretty close, actually. Then. <laughs> I should. Just like Maybe you should stop manhandling it. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Mm -hmm. You're gonna want to sanitize that before you use that ever again. Wow, I can't believe you just put that in my hands. <laughs> That was disturbing for me. I'm a little upset that that's what you put. Like, you couldn't have just bought a new one and given it to me? I'm not buying a new one. I gathered these just five minutes ago. Are you going to explain what that is, that product, Jamie? It's a diva cut for um, your menstrual cycle. <laughs> so, and that one has been used? Yes. But clean. I'm actually impressed. What do you mean impressed? I have 27 girls in my household. <laughs> All I see is girl how crap many all those, over the place all the time. How many of those would you have gotten right um, before having daughters? I am blinded by the light right now. Um, how many? Or I've, being married. How many would you have gotten? So I would have gotten the tampon right and the mm -hmm. pad, I think. Mm -hmm. That's the, it? the nail file thing, I would have gotten that right. Mm -hmm. Maybe the eyebrow thing, the eyelash Eyelash thing. curler. Um... <laughs> But not the forehead much thing that you gave me? There's no way. Like, Jared still doesn't know what that is. <laughs> no. I only know because Jamie puts on her head every night. Not every night. A lot of nights. Yeah. I, I haven't done it in a long time, so I was hoping that you You would... did it, like, last night. No, that's a different thing. You had that thing on your forehead last night. <laughs> nope, that's a different thing. So maybe he got it wrong. You put two <laughs> things on your forehead? No, this is the silicone thing I don't use hardly ever. Oh, okay. So, so. I was like, maybe you won't get it. I mean... What do I get? Because I clearly won this challenge. I mean, it's not a challenge of where you get anything because we're not competing against each other. I just want to see. There's not like seat. a $10,000 prize like no. every other YouTube video in the There's world? There's not. You can have my Diva Cup. I can go get a new one. I do. do you want me to wash my hands? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm glad the tampon was in the bag at least. I'm surprised. All right. Well, I, I'm going to count myself as the winner. So. Yes. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Because I am. Because you uh, can guess those right? Yeah. So, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Because I am. Do you see how smart I am? I don't know. I fifth feminine grade brought questions, it up. Fifth grade questions can be M difficult. Fifth graders are dumb. <laughs> we have a daughter that was very close to fifth grade. She's in sixth grade now. Yeah. Are you arguing against my point with that or what? I just think there was a television show about this and I think with Jeff Foxworthy, right? that it's tricky. So what do you study in fifth grade? I don't know. I don't remember. That's the problem. Like I'm you probably nervous. do like history of some kind. Possibly. So that could be a little yeah. tough. And then math, that'd be, there's no way that can be hard. I don't know. Yeah, I think the fifth grade math is pretty easy. I don't know, I'm part. nervous. I, I think the geo they do a lot of geography. Ooh, geography That's can be tough. Can get do they, some like if it's like stuff. you have to know like the different levels of like, is that where they're studying like the crust of the earth versus the whatever? I, the mantle is all I know. Wouldn't know where that is located. I'm I'm just nervous. You don't know where the mantle is located? Like, I mean, where all the other ones are located. It's in the earth. <laughs> no, there's levels of which one it falls. I know, but you said where falls. it's located. I'm yeah, of which one it falls. It's not in another planet. All right, so... Are you smarter than a fifth grader? We're going to find out. So who's asking the questions? Because I thought I don't have any questions. I don't asked. have any questions either. I have the questions. Oh, boy. oh, no. So wait, are we writing them down to see who gets them right? Did you make sure that yes. they're fifth grade questions? I mean, I, I typed in Did Jared than a fifth grade questions. What level of education does Jared have? I have a college degree. Okay, so he's done fifth grade stuff. Yes. So I safe to assume. I got past fifth grade. How come you took the blue one? Do you learn how to tell time to. in fifth grade? But way before that. So here's <laughs> oh the thing. Gosh. This might be hard for me because when I was in fifth grade. You were one of those special people that no. went to a special class. In third and fourth grade, I was in the same class. Fifth grade, though, same teacher, but we were so advanced, she had to stick with us. Sure. And so I was in a super advanced That's just fifth what your teacher class. tells you. What if it was like a special ed class? <laughs> just was like, you're so you're smart. You're so special. <laughs> I need to teach you. 
I, over again. What if it was like, this is the class for dumb kids? Well, then we'll find out who's going to win. I am nervous, though, because I can't remember. So my fifth grade teacher kept falling asleep constantly. I think he, he ended up passing away. Okay, well, I was going to start making jokes. Of, and then you bomb kind out. Of health He's problem. Dead. Some kind of health problem. So obviously he was having something happen, but he would teach and kind of teach, and he'd be sitting at his desk, and we'd look over, and he's like, one time, he was talking to me and, like, writing on my paper, and he went... What was the fell name? Fell asleep, of... and it went off the page. What was the name of your fifth grade teacher? Mr. Pine. Mrs. Hendricks. Miss Golda. She hated me. <laughs> well, let's find out. Now Who do you think was the smartest fifth grader in here, if we were going to compare? The smartest Between fifth us grader? three? Yeah. It wasn't Jared. Not Jared. Uh, what? We both agreed pretty quickly. I know all the answers to all these questions. I probably uh, Steve have... was in a special class, so... It was me, obviously. Mm. I probably had the best I grades. Think it, I think it depends on... Yeah. I think it depends on um, subject matter. True. Okay, like, let's go. I, let's if we're talking about math, you guys got me beat. I for sure knew more swear words in fifth grade than both of you combined. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. His vocabulary was expansive. <laughs> I already had an adult vocabulary by the time I was in fifth grade. I knew all the F words. Nice. There's more than one. All the F words. <laughs> the fact that you don't know there's more than one shows that you guys aren't ready for this. <laughs> Are you ready, Jared? I kind of need to pee. We better hurry. All right, here we go. <laughs> First question. Do not look on my screen, Steve. Oh, is it oh, that? Oh, no. I, he can cheat. You can put it on the other screen, can't you? Or no? He can, I can, I can cheat. As long as it doesn't change my I didn't mind. real. I haven't looked at what it was on there. I just saw that there was have, a thing It there. doesn't show anything right now. He's so. going to cheat. All right. I, I mean, would, there's, some I pretty, there's some pretty easy ones, but... I'm nervous. Um, my guess is this is going to be easy as heck. Okay. Jared, how many did you really know beforehand? I, I knew a lot. Like, as I'm reading them, I know a lot of them. Were there That's some I'm trying to find in? ones that are tougher. Oh, you're trying to? I'll do some easy ones, but... Okay. Jamie wants the easy questions. I, know, I she do. Does. It's a fifth grade thing. So this one's kind of tough. The most consumed beverage in the world after water is what? Holy moly. I guess a fifth grader knows this. I don't, I don't, There's I don't no know if that's way true, but... any fifth grader knows this. So I have a couple of things that it could be. You need me to repeat the question, Jamie? You seem a little confused. I just don't know why a fifth grader would know this. <laughs> the most consumed beverage in the world after water is what? This is probably wrong, but I'm going to give it a run. I'm going to be vague here. Vague? <laughs> She's like, not water. <laughs> and one, two, three, juice. Milk. You're both incorrect. I the thought it was coffee. The answer is tea. Oh, tea. 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 Coffee was my next guess, so tea wasn't on my list. But that's because we're not It said Brits. world. <laughs> exactly. Yes. In the, yeah, it said world. In the U.S., that is not the case. No, so everyone's aware. Sure. That would be energy drinks. Yes. <laughs> that would be Monster. Speaking of energy, the energy of a moving object is also called what? This one's pretty easy, actually. Well, because you have the answer in front of you. No, I know, I know this one. No, you no, did you not know it before. I guarantee I know. Yes. You didn't know it before. The energy of a moving object is also called what? Hint on moving objects. Are you going to write something down? I feel like Jamie's <laughs> stuck in fifth grade. Or she's stuck she in just, fourth grade. <laughs> she just completely froze. She's stuck in fourth grade. She hasn't quite made I don't the like these. Yeah. Do they teach CPR in fifth grade? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to give you mouth to mouth. Too soon. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, just dumb. I don't like this. I don't like this song. <laughs> wait, like, wait. I saw your answer. No, you're laughing at me! <laughs> Jamie said velocity. All right, Harry. So, that's what I had written, too. Really? And you changed it? I still have velocity written. All right. He's like, I want to. There you go. I want to say MC squared. The energy. Four. All right, what'd you get, Steve? You get I put velocity. velocity. Velocity force. <laughs> velocity force. The correct answer is kinetic energy. Moving energy is kinetic. He versus wouldn't have static known that. energy. He wouldn't have known There's that. There's no way Jared would have gotten that. It's such he crap. had it right in front of him. He was like, oh, yeah, I remember Kinetic that. energy, that's what we talk about all the time in kinesiology. So, well, yes. you wouldn't have known it. Really I think he's a liar. Without it in front of him. 
Jared just lies about me. All right, I'll make it a little easier for you guys. What is the closest planet to the sun? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> this Hold is on. an easy one. No, just because it's in front of you. Stop saying it's easy it's when it's in front Earth, of you. It's obviously Earth, right? There's other planets. Closest planet to the sun. Sad. I can only think of like two planets right now. The big yellow one is the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm not ready. Hurry. I'm not ready. This is going to make me look really stupid. All right. I'm dumb. I'm pretty one, sure we're closer two, to the sun in this one. Three. Show it. Mercury might be right. I don't Mercury? know. Mercury is correct. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Mars is closer to the yes, further away. Earth. I know. Yep. I was toast. I didn't know Mercury was a planet. You should know that from your daddy, Elon. Elon's my dad. Okay, like, I like if that was the case, now. my name would be like J12 X. or whatever. Okay. I we're going to stick one. with planets here. Um, uh -huh, Earth great. is located in what galaxy? That's easy. That's the kind of fifth grade question I was <laughs> expecting. Andromeda. Did you really write Milky Way? I did. You're so dumb. <laughs> Milky Way, correct. I was trying to get a good question yourself. I don't. I actually will. If you guys make me question myself, <laughs> I question myself. All right, the planet well, one I knew immediately. I was like, I'm so dumb. I should know this one for sure. That is a fifth grade one, the Mercury. <laughs> what right. ancient civilization built the ancient. Machu Picchu complex in Peru? Who That's built cool. Machu Picchu? Mm, I think this is wrong. I can't spell it though. This is probably wrong. Ready? One, two, three, go. I don't know. Mayan? Aztec. <laughs> You're both wrong. <laughs> That's in Mexico, in Central America. I was hoping that it's expanded this further. This is the Incas. Oh, the Incas. Okay, that, that was good. I don't remember hearing that. Okay, this Ever like, again this one's like a Yeah, classic. but that one that one would have been a fifth grade question. That's a fifth grade. I can I can see that. This one's also a classic fifth grade. Animals without back backbones are called what? Animals without backbones. Um. <laughs> oh goodness. We got them. Animals without backbones. Give me an example of an animal without a backbone. No, you can't. You can't. I mean, you know this. I don't know. Um, I know it. I think I figured it out. My bad. This is a fifth grade question. I'm ready. All right, let's see it. One, two, three, go. Scum buckets. <laughs> what? A scum bucket. If you don't have a backbone, you're kind of like a scum bucket. I have a reptile. <laughs> you're both wrong. <laughs> Invertebrates. Invertebrates. Okay, yeah, you can't put two no. answers down. Yeah, and yeah, you, you said <laughs> reptile. You put no my answers down. My invertebrate's on the top. So I did think. I wrote invertebrate, and then I was like, I didn't know that that was yeah, like. Yeah, you the, said reptile. But See, reptiles are invertebrates. And reptiles written bigger. Reptiles are invertebrates, no. right? If, no. If you're, no. No way are you getting A this. reptile has, verte has vertebrate. Yeah, you're not even right. Snake. They have backbones. He does not have a backbone. <laughs> yes, he does. Dinosaur? Snake. Yes. Look, invertebrate. I know. So, I did what? think... Would you okay, have been you, arguing you did a, for you yourself a to get a right point? Now? No. If you did a test in fifth grade and you wrote down both answers, would you get it right? Whatever. Thank you. So, I did think about... I was like, vertebrae... But then I didn't think of it as like I an just animal want you type. guys to know, I that honestly, having the the answer written on the board. No, you did. Whatever. But then he wrote reptile and said reptile. Someone's getting a little too. Uh, she's going back to her straight A mentality in fifth grade. All I have to say is, you I did wrote write, reptile. I did write the answer on the board. You did. It was way closer than why did whatever you. you but why did you write it? It's coming. Scumbag. It was pretty close. Because at right before you were turning the answer, I was like, oh, and I wrote invertebrate on it. Yeah, but so you already so you also thought it was reptile because you said that. And a reptile is not an invertebrate. I don't know. I have two points. Invertebrate Possibly would be three, like an octopus. Whatever. Have I gotten any right yet? Yeah, you both got a couple right. Or maybe no. you haven't gotten any right, Steve. I don't know. <laughs> 
fifth graders are freaking geniuses. I take back everything I said earlier. All right, Julius Caesar was the emperor of what empire? Caesarville. I'm angry. <laughs> All right, do you have it? <laughs> I gotta erase a letter, but it's funny that I wrote it. Okay, ready? Roman. Would you write? Empire, yes. E Romain? I wrote Rome, and then I put Anne. <laughs> Rome, I like, Anne. I gotta erase that now. <laughs> or I look even more dumb. Romy Anne. I look dumber. He wrote Romaine lettuce. Alright, here's another one. This one's... Okay, you have to answer this my first one, one in right. 10 seconds. 10 seconds? How much is 14 times 5? Go. I don't know it! Who writes it first? Whoever that writes it first, show me it. Would you, what, would you write? 20? 70. The correct answer is 70, Jamie. <laughs> what you, would you write? What did you write? Oh my gosh. She had 500. <laughs> I was writing down. <laughs> two over. What did you write? You wrote I was 500. doing the times. I was going 14 times 5, and then I wrote 20 because I was doing 20 down here. <laughs> And then instead of up there. And then she looks at me like, did you write 20? I'm like, I mean, I don't know. Obviously, I did not. So I wrote 70. <laughs> I saw it a little bit. That's because you could do a 7 with a line through it. She was trying to cheat. All right, here we go. Wow, so I you dumb can't, it. You can't sit and go a, on a time frame. I mean, I had time to write the whole problem. I didn't even do it in my head. It was a math problem, so. I'm All done. right, you wrote 500? <laughs> I was doing the times tables on there. I was oh writing God. 14 doing the times five. No, I wrote 14 times five, and then I was like five times four, 20, and I wrote 20 down there, and then I wrote the five in front of it. How did you still get 500? I'm so confused. Because I was doing five times one. I was writing it up there. It doesn't make sense. I am lost right now. <laughs> All right, next just question. Go. Since just just go. Jamie can't do math. <laughs> Let's just stick just with go. math. What are the large rocks that orbit the sun between Mars and Jupiter called? Large rocks that orbit the sun between Mars and Jupiter. Did you copy my answer? How am I going to copy your answer if I can't see it? I had it, it like this. I wrote asteroids. I checked the cameras. I think she peaked. What did you write, Jamie? Asteroids. Asteroids is correct. If I spelled it right, I think. <laughs> How do you spell asteroids? <laughs> now you, let me scroll up. A S T E R O I D S. I you spelled it right. You had an E R! How do you spell it? A S T E R. Oh, E R. I didn't hear him say E. I, I thought I was wrong at first. And then Maybe he did, we should do a spelling. He didn't thing. say E the first time. He did. He just mumbled it. Maybe you should do a spelling. Not my e. fault he doesn't know how to speak. Do fifth graders know how to spell? I would have admitted not spelling well. <laughs> I just thought I got it right. I was stunned. What is the longest river in the United States? Ooh, we did the second longest the other day. Remember that? It's the Nile. For sure. What's the longest? I don't feel amazing about this. I don't either. I know it's wrong. I think the second is the Missouri. And so I'm going to go with Mississippi. You're both incorrect. What Shoot. is it? That is Missouri. Oh, dang. I thought dang it was the second it. longest. Didn't we just do that the other day? Mississippi is the second longest. I swear. They told us. The Missouri was the second longest. They said, what's the second longest? We did this in this seventh grade. I think, I, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm Googling it. I don't trust Jared. What if he's wrong? You can look it up. Go for it. Talking Which about the Mississippi. The so How many syllables are in the word Mississippi? How many syllables? Mm -hmm. Four. <laughs> it's just I did it. You Correct. can't watch him do it. It's four. <laughs> I wasn't watching him. I was doing it on my fingers. <laughs> what is four. the longest? What, we, what was the question? What are the three states of matter? That's easy. It says Mississippi. <laughs> You're wrong. I swear she said Missouri was the second longest when remember. we did that thing. Maybe it was Mississippi. The three states of matter, Jamie. I don't know it. You don't know it? Are you joking? Really? You're not even going to try? I'm not even going to try. You're joking? Yep. 
You know it now, though, already. By this, you're joking. Mm -hmm. All right, well, it's liquid solid gas. Yep. Mm -hmm. You knew that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are you pretending to not know this? I was like, this is the one I do know. You know. Because I know you know all about gas. Okay. Can't write more than one answer on my board. You get it wrong. The ancient Egyptian empire was based on what continent? <laughs> Jamie, you gotta answer. <laughs> Steve already has it. Come on. You're just gonna give up? The ancient You're Egyptian. You're pulling a Peyton in the middle of a test. Come on. I don't know what continent he just saw. Let me think. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me think for a second. It's right next to Israel. It's in between Israel and Gaza. Or on the other side of Gaza. I know. Why am I having a complete <laughs> brain fart? What Where continent is Egypt on, please? Can we just can we just go? Let me think. I feel on. like Let me think. A minute. What happened? Did she I shut think, down? I, think, I don't know. Hold it's, on! It's, but she's missed the last the, four the questions. Sol and it's been... The solid state one was shocking. That she, I was like, what are you talking about? She hasn't think. even answered anything in Let the last like, 20 minutes. Yes, I have. He even spilt it right. He spilt it wrong. Um, are you talking about Asteroid like 10 minutes ago? Yeah, that was like five questions ago. Holy moly, Jamie. You didn't answer, you I, didn't answer River. I? You didn't answer Solid State. I have, have there's only all. 27 continents to pick from. No. Oh. I have them all just... Israel? <laughs> oh, Egypt. Okay. Steve, just answer. Just answer it. Africa. Africa, yes. I tried to trick you with the Israel thing. Well, I know that that's the <laughs> continent. That's why I was like, I know <laughs> that you're wrong. Well, it is. I'm not wrong. Right, that Jamie, is where Egypt like is. another math one? No, I know where it is. I'm... What? what whole no, number, I'm not doing what it. What whole number is closest to the square root of 65? You remember how to do square root? Square do roots? stop. What well, whole number is closest to the square root of sixty-five? Just do it. Don't look at me. Well, I mean, I know it. I know you do. But if I start <laughs> writing, you might know what it is too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's a cheater. I don't know my times tables that well. Why do you write so many things on there? Because you have to write the whole number of the square root. of... It's closest to 65. I'm not answering it. You're, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you have to at least answer something. Wait, 60 what? <laughs> what was it? Again, 65. Number? 65? And it's the whole, he's just saying the whole number closest, right? Yeah, whole number that's closest. Okay. To the square root of 65. Okay. Well, I guess, oh, I guess I'm, maybe I'm misthinking. I was thinking like the, the square root that's closest. So just, square root of 65, give me the whole, the closest whole number. Is that wrong? What'd you put? That might be wrong because I, now I'm, I have to rethink the whole thing. But I put eight thinking the same thing where I was like, it's eight. That, okay. Oh, why are you doing? He's trying eight's to trick eight. me. Eight's eight's on the floor. Pick them up to 64. And then 65 yeah. is close. But I was like, wait a second. I had to rethink what I was thinking. But I was still right. What type of animal can live on both water and land? Classic fifth grade question. Live this on is a classic both one. Water, water and, and land. land. What type of animal? Invertebrate. On water or in water? Um, on both water and land. Is this like an animal type or are you asking for a specific animal? What type of animal? Okay. So type of animal. Like it's a broad mm -hmm. Type of animal. I don't know it. I don't feel great about this, but... I think there's a. I think there's an answer I'm supposed it's to like know. It's like a classification yes. of something. Yeah, I think there's a classification I'm supposed to really... know that I'm, not, I'm missing here. But I'm ready, I guess. It's going to be reptile. Reptile, what'd you put, Jamie? I didn't write it. Because I got, I wrote reptile <laughs> and I got it wrong. It's amphibians. I was thinking that. I knew there was a phibian. Amphibian. I couldn't think of what it was. I knew there was a phibian. <laughs> I did. But count. some reptiles are amphibians. That's so do I, am I right? Am I it right? It doesn't count. What is the name of the last queen of France? What, what did he say? The last queen of France. What was her name? Last queen? Mm-hmm. Maria. France. Not the king that they cut the head off of or whatever. Maria is my guess. Maria what? And <laughs> Twinette. <laughs> I don't know. Maria is my guess. I don't know any queens of France, so. What do you put, Steve? That was my best guess. Juck. No. It is Maria Antoinette. <laughs> I would have you erased Antoinette. Okay, don't give me the point. <laughs> she gets the point for that one because she said it. 
She's getting she's getting a little She is getting a little feisty. I'm it's, still mad yeah. that you took me they took the answer away when you I had it up there. You wrote invertebrate and in, in reptile. I know, but when you you said reptile. reptile. But when you're answering these types of questions, you I'm don't impressed know where they're that you, coming from. You can't just put like five answers I down. Did that I did all of two. Them. You no, you thought you thought it was one thing, an invertebrate reptile. No, I did not. I know what they answer. Oh, then why did you write two? So you wrote because two. Because I things. was like because I was like after the fact I was like, oh, invertebrate. And I okay, this, this one's more of your Sus. type, Jamie. I'll okay. give this one to you. This is more of your type. We gotta go. In the sentence, Sally is a very good person, what part of the speech is the word very? Sally is a very good person. What part of speech is the word very? Jamie, this is right in your wheelhouse. I stop saying things like that. How am I? Jamie is pretty good with English stuff, actually. No, I'm yeah, not. You, He's complimenting not, you with that. Not when it's sentence structure like that. Oh, well, I mean, I, oh, I would have given. Sure. I would asked you if the girls came and asked me that question. I would have said, <laughs> I "Go would, to your mom." I know, but if I can have verb, what do you say, Jamie? I had a preposition. Nope, it's an adverb. That's close. close. That's close. close. I only know I mean, verb and noun, so the rest of it I was just screwed up. <laughs> 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 you wrote preposition? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what a preposition is either, really. <laughs> can't remember that. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty was a gift to the U.S. from where? Oh, Which one? We're going to write one down here. The Vegas one. <laughs> <laughs> the one that's in the U.S. or the one that's in France? France. Correct. I haven't been keeping track. What is the largest and deepest ocean in the world? Largest and deepest ocean. I'm not 100% sure about this one, actually. I'm not either, because... I mean, you you can choose out of a few oceans. I know, but... No, not that, but I, I'm not sure which I one's don't actually. Think largest right. and deepest. I don't know where the Mariana Trench is or whatever, but I'm guessing it's in the Atlantic. Pacific. Hmm. Pacific Ocean is larger and deeper. I thought about the larger part of it being possibly that, but the deep part was questionable. I guess I should have gone with that. The Great Sphinx in Egypt, which is in Africa, Jamie, <laughs> has the head of a man and the body of what species of animal? Now or originally? Cat or lion? It is a lion. Mm. I get that. That's not way off on cat. That's I mean, tough. Yeah. I, that's I why they that. call it the Sphinx. What cats? is the most abundant element in the universe? Most abundant element in the universe. I'm not 100% sure about this one, obviously, but I think... In I'm the right. universe? The mm -hmm. universe. I don't know. Actually. All right, Ray? Or not yet. I think she erased something. Just I now. erased it. I don't have an answer. I don't you know that one. You answer something. Just write an element. Just try element. Just... One element. <laughs> yeah, not ten. What is it? Let's see. I wrote carbon. Hydrogen. It's hydrogen. Yeah, I didn't feel very good about it. it is I hydrogen. don't like guessing if I don't know I'm right or wrong, so I'd rather not guess. But is that what you wrote down originally? Yes. Well done, Jamie. Th these are the type of questions that I hated. We can only school. do a couple more. We got to hustle. If a shopping cart contains one apple, two bananas. Three oranges and four hot dogs. What percentage of the cart's total contents is fruit? One apple, two what bananas. One apple, two bananas, three oranges, four hot dogs. What percent of the contents is fruit? These word problems were the worst for me. I hated word and math problems. I'm ready. Did you not know it beforehand? Hmm? I, I mean, I didn't try to do the math. You would have gotten this one. Not, that's not bad. I just. I probably have it wrong. I hate doing. What percentage? Oh. We're fruit. So now you need to make it into a percentage. She has a. She has a. Um, I have <laughs> a fraction. I would have. I would have been okay with that. You'd have gotten it wrong on a test, but you know. Okay. Ready? Let's mm -hmm. see. 
60. 60, 60% is correct. All right, last one. Ooh, let's find one. The finale. Mm. So who's winning? I don't know. I think you might be ahead, I mean, but I, I went on a streak where I, I got a few. I it started off with Jamie winning, but then like that no, middle you, time. There was a streak of just me I think not I got, answering and you not getting them all right. No, but I got like three in a row right. I mean, he got quite a few point. of those right. You both said Mississippi. Yeah, but no. after the Mississippi, like the states went on a matter. Stint. That's the one Steve he got. got no, I went on a few the one after that. What too. else was it? He had he had like three that he he rattled off. So yeah, I mean I don't remember every single one, but we can rewatch and you'll see. But I think she's still ahead because I did miss some after I mean, that. She got right. It's, it's probably close. I she's gotten two or three right since then that I missed. I gotta find one more. The finale. We're gonna see who's smarter than a fifth grader. This is worth five hundred. This, this points. one I wouldn't have got. This one's tough. The and you would have gotten all the other ones. <laughs> yes, for sure. The bassoon is a member of what musical family? The bassoon. This one I could see a fifth grader learning. I'm not saying that it's really needed knowledge. <sighs> I'm changing bassoon. my answer. I'm going to be really mad if I'm right originally. Okay. I don't know. Did you write it down? Yes. Okay, let's see it. Brass? Yeah. Percussion. What'd you get? Percussion, you're both incorrect. It is a woodwind. A bassoon is wood. almost like a little flute looking yeah. thing. I didn't know. I wrote strings originally, so I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And that's why I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. Actually, you guys will have to comment below who got the most points because we actually don't know. We're going to go look at your comments and see who won. I think I did, but I, I right don't is. know. You guys will have to see. And let me know if you're giving me credit for... Oh, get out of here. Thanks for watching today's Important video. Friends. Don't listen to her anymore. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. Yes. And click that bell so that you can get notifications of when we post our awesome videos just like this one. Podcasts. Yes. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Peace.